MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Lots of pink all around for this Mother's Day matchup between the Cleveland Indians and the Detroit Tigers. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Jordan Zimmerman, the right-hander from the state of Wisconsin, is on the mound here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy is. If he brings his A game, he can shut anybody down. The problem he's had so far this season, he's been a little bit inconsistent. He's a better pitcher than that ERA over the fours indicates. First delivery to him on the way. This one's down to third. He's got it. And that's the first down. The third now a moment here for the Indians starting lineup. What's going to be the key for him today, Mark? Yeah, this lineup's got to go about it a little bit differently, Matty. They're not going to drive the ball out of the ballpark. They're in the bottom third in slugging percentage in the league. But they can string some hits together, manufacture some runs, create some problems on the base pass, being aggressive, and try and attack you that way. Be on the lookout for that. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a high strike there, 0-1. So, fellas, these Tigers, as they begin play here today, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Matty V, it hasn't been a very good homestand. And Dero, through the first five games of this set, one and four, that's not going to get it done at this level. Yeah, and, and have lost in a variety of ways, whether it be on, uh, on some bad pitching, some mistakes in the middle of the zone, untimely defense, not swinging the bats well. They have to find a way to get this win today. The bouncer to the left side. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Wow, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. So here's Francisco Lindor now as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate to say the least. Comes set with the 0-1. Drilled to the right side. And a backhanded reach at first but he can't flag it down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, after that base knock right there, he's into double digits, Dero. That's a 10-game hitting streak. Oh, you talking about double digits, Dan? Now it's getting firm. We're seeing the batting average go up. We're seeing the homers go up. We're seeing the RBIs go up. Everything is moving north. And that'll bring in Fran Reyes. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Ramirez at second. Lindor at first, one gone. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Onto the bullpen roof and gone. So a three run shot to left center home run number five on the year and the Indians move in front now three to nothing. Oh and that was really close to a long out. The left fielder had a beat on it and he gave it a great effort but he couldn't quite bring it back. Instead it's a trip around the bases. That is fair. The first baseman, Carlos Santana. Here's Carlos Santana now. 
Bryant's batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Past history with Jordan Zimmerman, he's totaled four hits in 17 at-bats. He's taken him deep once. The 0-1 on its way. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. One and one. Santana could end up as an all-star this year, but it's not a lock at this point. He enters the day third in voting among first basemen. Yeah, and you don't want to leave it up to a manager's decision. You want to get in based on the fan vote, and he has a chance to do exactly that if he can make a late push as we head towards the Midsummer Classic. The one two. Misses ball two. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. Now the payoff pitch home. He's at the knees and called strike three. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. But that can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Here's Ryan McMahon now. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. Six home runs and 15 RBIs. Yeah. Fastball called for strike two. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Indians hang a crooked number thanks to this three-run home run. On to the bottom of the first. It's 3-0 in favor of the Tribe. Carlos Carrasco starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? One of the things that jumps out, if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go of that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. The next batter, Jamer Candelario. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. He's set. Here it comes. Oh, that's awful. So, fellas, this Indians ball club, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, d -Row? Try to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here. Losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and hopefully winning this series by pulling one out here today. Yeah, Dan, they were able to shower that first loss off in the first game of this series and had a nice bounce back game yesterday. Let's see if they can steal the series right here. The 2 0 on the way is in there for strike one. You know, Matty, I'll never understand this. You work so hard throughout the course of the season and course of this game to get in 1 0, 2 0, 3 1 counts, guarantee yourself a fastball 80 to 90 percent of the time, and he takes it. Just can't understand the methodology there. 2 and 2. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. The 2 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. The classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that.
Here's Cameron Mabin now. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He'll start this one at 269. Five homers and 17 RBIs. The 1 0 delivery. And that's in there for his strike one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Skied into very shallow right. Reyes in a few steps as he takes it, two down. Batting third. The first base pick. A moment now in Motown to check out the Tigers' starting lineup. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, someone that's been struggling a bit is Jonathan Scope. He went 0 for 3 last game. No big deal, only three ABs. But it was the way in which he looked going about those ABs. He didn't have a good look to him at all. We'll see if he can bounce back in this one. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera looking to stay hot. He's been a real threat at the plate the last week or so. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And this is popped up. Back behind second. Lindor has got it, and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. On now to the top half of inning number two. The Tribe lead this one three to nothing. New inning set to get underway. Now to the plate, Jordan Luplo, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Pitch on the way. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Batting eight. The catcher, number 55. Roberto Perez. So digging in now, Roberto Perez. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. First delivery to him on the way. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. Perez is widely considered one of the elite backstops in the game, of course. His skills behind the plate are well documented, and in a position like catcher, that makes a big difference for his team every night he straps it on. And for obvious reasons. And he allows the pitching staff to throw any pitch, any count, knowing they can bounce that breaking ball and feel like it's coming right back to him. This guy, he is really one of the special defenders in our sport. A one and two count to the Indians catcher. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. He's looking a lot sharper and has settled in here in the second inning. It'd be hard not to because that first inning was pretty much a mess. But I give him credit for letting it go and making some really good adjustments. At the plate, Tyler Krieger. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 and 1. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. Indians go down 1, 2, 3, but they're on top by a count of 3 to nothing. Stepping in, Nico Goodrum. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. Hey. 
There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. The 1 1 home down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The 1 2. Hard liner to center field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. And the Tigers are in business to start the inning. They've got a leadoff triple. So he's in at third to kick off the inning as you take a look at the league leaders in triples. And as you can see there, he's part of a flat-footed tie for the AL lead. Here's Jonathan Scope now. He's yet to get into the hit column in the series. 0 for 7. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Scope who's nicknamed Mamba. He's in the midst of his eighth major league season. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. looking awfully confused up there right now it's one and two real ugly 0 one swing there as a pitcher you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance the one two is taken for ball two yeah doubled up on the slider away there got him to go after it before so why not see if he'll offer at it again The 2 2. Takes this the other way to right. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Check that out right there. I love me some of that. Staying inside the baseball, moving it the other way. Sometimes a pitcher can execute his pitch, but doesn't mean the batter can't grab a knock. Up next steps Kristen Stewart as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Chasing after it is DeShields. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Time for a look at the Cleveland Indians defensive setup today. And this team's lucky enough to have their gold glover play shortstop. The captain of the infield and the offense knows if the ball's hit in his direction you could pretty much take the right hand turn and go back to your dugout. Not only the routine ones but the highlight reel ones as well. Into the box now Clint Frazier as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1. Runners on first with one down. One and one, the count to Clint Frazier. Hit the other way out toward right field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. 
That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head, one hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. In now, Grayson Grenier. Pitch is way outside of that straight to the backstop. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Here's the 1-0. And he misses again, 2-0. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Two balls and a strike. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking here. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. I never found myself on the mound in the big leagues, but it must be nice to be able to go to that good hard fastball when you're in a jam. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Standing in now, number 19. As he'll take a look at ball one. And he's got an opportunity to drive in a pair, perhaps even it up here in the early going. Waved at and missed as he took something off there. One and one. Runners at second and third with two gone. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. He's got a chance to ring up back-to-back -back case here, and that would be huge in this situation. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Tigers get just the one. We played two full. The Indians lead it three to one. And here's the second generation big leaguer Delino DeShields as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch and a strike called at the letters look high to me but it's nothing in one. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunch single to get him started here. Now batting, third baseman, Jose Ramiro. To the plate now, Jose Ramirez. Here's a pop-up now, Candelario. Has room in foul territory, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Up next to Cleveland. So one man gone for Cleveland here in the third. That'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop and perennial MVP candidate Francisco Lindor. Prior to the at bat a check on first and he just manages to get his hand in. A 
Another look to first. A dive, but he's back. First offering on its way. Hey, I'm surprised he went to that spot in his own. This guy's known for being a down and in hitter. Don't expect too many pitches going in that spot. Now a throw over, and he'll get back in safely. Ready with the 0 1. Pitch misses the throw down. One and one. Is there, and he's out trying to take second. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a bag. But he got rid of it quickly, and it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Cleveland's out in front, three to one. Welcome back as Detroit prepares for their third turn through the batting order. Fans of the Tigers have been treated to a lot of production from this lineup so far this year. They currently possess the lowest strikeout total in all of baseball. And when I asked one of their coaches about that stat, he told me that's no fluke. He said despite the trend in baseball these days where we see a lot of hitters being just as aggressive with two strikes as they are with no strikes, they don't believe in that as a club. They want their guys getting tougher and more focused with two strikes, and they seem to be getting the desired Here results. Guys? All right, Heidi, the thank you. Gamer, Candelario. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Jimer Candelario is at the plate as he looks at ball one. The 1 0 delivery. Base hit into right center. Dan, that hit right there extends his the hit right streak field. to eight Number games. Four. Are you aware of stuff yeah, like that? Man. No doubt about it right now. He's swinging the bat yeah, really man. well. And after that knock right there, hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at. So you can say, hey, he's going to whole calendar week with getting at least one base hit. So there's a lot of positives going on right now. One ball, no strikes to count. Ready with the 1 0. Ball, that's out. Third inning here. 3 to 1 our score. Hey. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. High in the air, deep down the left field line. A ball that's carrying. And he makes the catch in the corner. So a nice okay. running catch on display that time as we get a look at it again with show track. He took a nice route, covered a good amount of ground, 100 feet to be exact, to bring that one in. Well done. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first. And that brings in Miguel Cabrera. From the belt, the pitch. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. Oh. Ball 2 now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now the 2-0 home. On its Taylor made to short. Six, four, three. It's a double play and the inning is over. Tigers are shut down there. 
Score holds. It's three to one. So here's the cleanup hitter, Fran Morales. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last AB, but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Out in front of it, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hard hit ball to second, and that is through into right field for a single. Now batting, the first baseman, Carlos Santana. So now Carlos Santana. Now a ball lined to the left side but foul three to one is our score here in inning number four nope. and he'll look at a fastball just off the black and it's even at one get hard back up the middle and that will be a base hit here for Santana Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit off the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Stepping in now, Ryan McMahon, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him, a base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Boy, Dero, we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, and that's exactly what that pitcher wants you to think. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Oh, 1, here's the pitch. That's a ball. Lays off the slider, and it's 1 and 1. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. And that misses two and one. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. The 2-2. Two -two. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Hit out towards second. Scope is there. Step on the bag for one. On to first, but not in time. It's a fielder's choice and an RBI. After fielding this one cleanly, you see he tries to take it himself at second base, but they just can't turn the double play. Striding in once again, Roberto Perez. And their runners at the corners now. First pitch coming, here it is. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. 
Four runs, seven hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Scope. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Indians forced to settle for one. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Indians on top, four to one. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Nico Goodrum. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. Now here's the pitch. Santana's got it. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Now the 0-1. One ball, one strike. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And two and two. Two balls, two strikes. A full count, three and two to the Tigers center fielder. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is DeShields. He's there and records the first down. The batter, number eight. Second baseman, got us there. So the base is empty here with one away, and that means Jonathan Scope will get ready at the plate. From the stretch. Well, count one and oh. The one oh. Hey. One ball, one strike. Hey. Count is one and two. Ball. To two balls and two strikes now. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Here it comes. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Now a swing and another fly ball here as things are getting busy out there in Central. The Shields is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Number 14. So two outs now for the Tigers in their half of the fourth. And that means Kristen Stewart will dig in at the plate. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit down the line at first. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. And he lays off for ball one. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Luplo has to retreat to the track but he has it to retire the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We played four full. The Tribe lead this one four to one. Now at the plate, Tyler Krieger. He'll start things team. out as we begin the fifth. The second baseman, Tyler Krieger. First pitch of the at-bat. 
And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. Candelario is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop-up to start the inning. Ready for another shot now. Delino DeShields, a hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Nope, a ball and no ball. strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And gone. An absolute bomb. A solo shot here to left. Home run number two for him on the year as they stretch the lead to 5-1. Every once in a while, the speed guy will jump up and bite one. He absolutely crushed that baseball. Doesn't fit his usual tool description, but he can go deep if you leave one over the heart of the plate. Now here comes Ron Gardenhier up out of the dugout, and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Xiao Ching Chang, a right hander standing now, six foot four, even, will take eight. over the pitching duties Number here. 68. Xiao Ching Chang. So now to the plate, Jose Ramirez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. The wind up and the 0 1. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. The 0-2 home. I got the count. One and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Ready to deliver the one and two. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. Now this is foul tipped right into the catcher's glove as he holds on to preserve the strikeout, and there are two away. Now batting, shortstop, Francisco Lindor. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. He was a ground out victim last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in the wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you gotta let go on. Smoke toward the hole. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. So he's aboard with a second hit of the afternoon so far as we take a look at the now league leaders in right hitting. Through. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. At the plate, Fran Moraes, as he'll cut on and miss it, a good slider at the knees for strike one. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Fouled off. A 
and two here it is swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning but the Indians add to their lead thanks to this solo home run on to the bottom of the fifth it's the Indians five and the Tigers one back from Comerica Park in Detroit as we send it down to Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhier during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. Among other things, he brought up their lack of walks as a sign that they're not doing a great job of working the count and laying off pitches outside the strike zone. Going forward, he's hoping to see a better focus on competitive at-bats and more selective swings. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Leading up for the Tigers. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Coming to the plate now, Clint Frazier. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Luplo is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first out. The catcher, number 17. Great set. Reiner. Digging in, Grayson Grenier. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. He's set and the pitch. Ball one. Count one and oh. Ready with the one oh pitch. Ball. Up top, it's two and oh. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, two balls, one strike. He's set and the two one pitch. Ball three. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. It's a 5-1 game here in inning number five. Down the third. Oh, it's off the third base bag. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Low throw, and he can't handle the short hop. But it's backed up well, so luckily there will be no advance. Well, when you're making that throw all the way across, you've got to make sure you gather and fire because if you don't, the ball will sink on you. Look like he tried to finesse that one a bit too much, and they'll hit him with an error. Stepping into the box, number 19 comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. From the stretch. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. One run, five hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Chasing after it is DeShields. Can't make the play, however, it's over his head. Grenier rounds the corner and is headed home. 
And a relay to the plate. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. In now, Jimer Candelario. And it's fouled away. This year against right-handed pitching, Candelario carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. Swing and a line drive. And the off-balance throw beats him at first. And that's a tough play. All right, so let's turn to show track for a more in-depth look at that one. Good reaction, great range, and a nice backhanded stop. And the jump throw with a lot behind it all the way across the infield for the out. The numbers don't lie, and that was pretty spectacular. Now at the plate, Cameron Mabin. 0 for 2, he's flown out twice. Carrasco pauses. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and that's waved at and missed for strike one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. One and one. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Long throw to the plate. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. First baseman Miguel Cabrera stands in as, oh goodness, not ready for that slider at all. Let's strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hey. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Yes, yes. He's running. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So two runs on three hits, one error, and a runner left. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Indians five and the Tigers three. Now batting, Carlos Santana. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1.
Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. That's popped up. And no one will track it down. Here comes another 0-2. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Now this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Fouled away. The one-two. Drilled right back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Up next to Cleveland, the designated hitter, Ryan McMahon. Next will be the designated hitter, Ryan McMahon. He singled his last time up. First pitch on its way. Strike taken up in the zone. One out, nobody on. Popped him up. Grenier moving to his left. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batter. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. At the plate, Jordan Luplo. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now here it comes. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 1. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non competitive off speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. On uh, that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Now batter, the catcher, Roberto Perry. Into the box now, Roberto Perez. As he'll well, take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Set and the 1 0 pitch swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And that'll get over the wall, so the runner will have to hold up at third. There's one of the disadvantages right there to the ground rule double rule. With the runner on first, more than likely if the ball stays in the ballpark, he's going to easily be able to score. But once it bounces over the fence, it's only third base for that base runner. 
to the plate now, Tyler Krieger. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Indians strand a couple as they hang on to their 5-3 lead. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Nico Goodrum. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. He said, here's the 0-1. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Reined in, and a good throw gets him one gone. Now back, second baseman, Jonathan. Go! Striding in, Jonathan Scope. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Now the pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. A bouncer up the middle. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang-bang play at first. And I thought this might happen based on how close that play was. They're looking at the replay in order to make a decision on challenging the out call on the field. And indeed, they will elect to challenge the call. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will review the play from all available angles to come to a play. So here's one last look at that replay from another angle. There has to be indisputable evidence in order to change the call. And boy, I'll tell you what, I just don't see it there. I'd be pretty surprised if this challenge works out for them in this case. Headsets coming off. Here comes the decision, and he is indeed out as originally called. So they lose the challenge and the ability to use any further challenges for the rest of the game. Digging in once again, Kristen Stewart. No hits to this point. First offering on its way. Ball one, no strike. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Nope. And he misses 2-1. and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. And this is hit hard to the right side. But foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a soft liner. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. And yeah, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one. But I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. Clint Frazier stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. From the belt, the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. DeShields is there, and that ends the inning. One left for Detroit. Still a two-run deficit. It's 5-3. Buck Farmer is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 45. Buck Farmer. 
Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Delino DeShields. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. And he won't take any chances on that one as this is scooped away in foul territory for the first strike. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Two and one now to the tribe's leadoff man. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. This is skied into short left center. Frazier comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Now batter, the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. In now for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. The wind up and the 0 1. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Batting left handed here as he takes a look at strike one. So far two for three in this one. Into the wind up here comes the 0 and 1. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to track it down and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the tribe. And it remains five to three. Dominic Leone gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Dominic Leone. Standing in, Grayson Grenier. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. First pitch on its way. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2 1. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. Called strike, and that'll run it full. This is line to left. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. 
And he is into second base with a leadoff double. Wow, he almost made a heck of a play in left. Yeah, Batty, you can't fold the left fielder there. You'll see he makes a tremendous effort, but he just can't haul it in, and it gets past him for an extra base hit. Like the effort, though. Into the box, number 19. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. He's working on a one for two game so far. From the belt, kicks and deals. One ball, one strike. A runner at second, nobody out. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Watching him on the mound right now, I think he's just having trouble throwing strikes to this guy. Up only two runs, I don't think he's working around him. Fastball, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so... He can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. The Shields is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Now batted, third baseman, Jay Hurd. Runner at second, one away, and into bat next, it'll be Jamer Candelario. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. Lifted into the air out towards center field. The Shields is there. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. The right fielder, number four, Cameron. Ready once again, Cameron Maven. Runner in scoring position with two gone. He's set. Here it comes. Oh, that's out. Men on third with two down. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Pitch is way outside, and he can't even get a glove on it. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 2-2 two -two is swung on and missed strike three. Tigers leave one. They're still down 5-3. Stepping up to the plate, Fran Reyes. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now Reyes with a drive, well hit out to deep left field, and it's off the wall in front of the bullpen. He just scorched that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first.
stepping in now, Carlos Santana. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Popped him up. Over to the left, but playable over in foul ground. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. The dedicated hitter. Still anyone's Ryan. ball game. 5-3 is our score as we take a look now at the starter comparison to see how these two guys fared in the matchup. Stepping in, Ryan McMahon. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. And he just blasts this thing down the left field line. I thought it might bend foul, but it lands just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good looking swing. At the plate, Jordan Luplo. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And boy, a high strike call there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing and two. The offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. They're so close, hard contact is a guaranteed ribby. Runners are at second and third with one down. Nope. Breaking ball called just a bit low. The 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Payoff pitch home he is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. At the plate now, Roberto Perez. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. It was a two bagger for him in his last at bat. Come set. The 0 1. Got him reaching there. Strike two. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back to back K's with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Here's the 0-2. Oh and he missed with it. It's one and two. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 oh now to 2-2. Two and two. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Here's the two and two. Hit high and deep to right center. And that is off the wall. He 
Hayes in at second safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. Jose Cisnero enters the ball game out of the pen looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Jose Cisnero. So now to the plate, Tyler Krieger, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Swing and a miss for strike one. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Two out here and a runner at second. The 1-1 one, one home is looked at for ball number two. Good time to be a nine-hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. In front of the change up there as this is chopped foul at home plate. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me with the side retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Indians seven and the Tigers three. Hunter Wood is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go at the plate. Miguel Cabrera and he's over in this one batting out of the three spot. Pitch on the way. Inside, ball one. The 1-0. -oh. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Now some movement in the tribe bullpen as a right-hander starts to loosen up. One one home is taken for strike two. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. The one two. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short, and Cabrera's now 0 for three as he's retired again for the first out. The center fielder, number 28. Nico. Good draw. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Nico Goodrum. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Now the pitch. Nope. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Bases are empty. One man out. A ball and two strikes. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. 
Wow, was he looking to swing the bat right there. Check pitch on a swing. That ball wasn't even close to the zone. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, Pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. And it's 0-2 to scope. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting the front foot down. No one's getting the barrel to the baseball. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The next 0-2. Hit out towards second. He's right there. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We've played eight full. It's the Indians seven and the Tigers three. So the Indians lineup flips over and to the plate. Delino De Shields. He went deep earlier and he's two for four to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Heading out towards shallow right. Mabin is there. One away. Now batter. Third baseman. Jose Ramirez. So striding in, Jose Ramirez. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. No balls in one strike. Nope. Ball one. One out, nobody on. Fastball called strike one and two. And now pitch on the way. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Now, back. now at the plate, Francisco Lindor. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. And that misses one and one. Indian shortstop behind one and two in the count. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. Here's the one and two delivery. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Indians go down one, two, three. They hang on to a seven to three lead. Adam Simber, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 90, Adam 
Finberg. Next to the plate for the Tigers, the DH, Kristen Stewart. He's working on a one for three thus far. Number 14. First delivery to him on the way. Action going on now in the Indians' bullpen as they have a left-hander up and getting loose. The 1-0 home is a sinker that misses for a ball. Simber was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. But an Adam ball right to him for the first out. Up next for the Tiger, no left fielder, Clint Frazier. Digging in, Clint Frazier. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First offering on its way. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batting. Catcher. Great set. Liner. Into the box now. Grayson Grenier. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. Two out, nobody on. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. And that's going to put an end to this one. And the Indians have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. And this afternoon's game ends 7-3. Cleveland hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Carlos Carrasco earns win number four on the season. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. The final line.